Hey guys, welcome back to Halo Cannon. So I'm a bit late on this, but because <laughs> it came the day I left, which for me is like four in the afternoon. I my flight was at two o'clock. So, but now that I'm back, here it is. Let's unbox this thing. I have done my best to avoid finding out what's in it, so I can you know genuinely react to what I see. So let's go. So first. Mm, top secrets, eyes only, Spartan. Oh, this is funny. The Spartan tag ends in LC, which is of course Loot Crate. It's one of the it's supposed to be one of the members of uh, Fire Team Apollo, if I recall correctly. So let us see. Okay, that's all. Oh, this is really cool. Spartan 4 augmentation uh, details. And uh, might not be, you can kind of see it, it's a little translucent, but yeah, it's basically, it's almost exactly like an x ray. So, and the armor is actually Helioscrill, I just noticed. So, neural interface controller, data port on the back, of course, bio monitor, uh, reconstruction joint plating, skeletal lattice. Reengineering, you know, making everything reinforced and uh, muscle growth to make them stronger. Telomere lengthening, which we first heard about in uh, New Blood, if I recall correctly. I might be wrong about that, but anyway, this is interesting actually. Gene therapy. Um, this would actually, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly, and I might be wrong, so feel free to uh, correct me in the comments, but. An interesting thing is there was never actually any gene therapy for any of the other Sp of the other two Spartan classes. We obviously can't say for sure uh, whether that's true for the Spartan ones or the Orion program, but so there's always that question about whether or not Spartan augmentations could be passed down. Well, for the Spartan fours, that might be possible. So that's actually really cool. And of course, what else do we have? So we have um, kind of an introduction. So, you know, welcome to the Spartan program. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, from Chief, Chief of Spartan Operations, Fire Team Apollo. Uh, ordered to report to Infinity on September 1st. Uh, Fire Team leaders are Chopped Opcon. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe somebody in the military out there knows. Fire teams must come board shipboard train, uh, war games, familiarizing. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so, basic orders. And then, oh, from Captain Lasky. Welcome aboard. Yada, yada, yada. High tempo multi threat combat. Huh, Spartan Miller. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. It's nice to see his name again. It is still weird that like they have, you know, an augmented per someone with who's augmented, whose basic purpose is only just to stand around and give orders. So it's weird. Anyway, Mr. Chief Plushy, love. Mm. Oh, hopefully this is actually the right size. Yep. Good, they got the right, they got my size. But let's spread that out just a bit. There you go. Spartan 4 program uh, hoodie. Which is funny because it says Spartan 4 down here, but this is really the Spartan 2 logo, technically speaking. But you know, it, you could say Spartans in general, so. Anyway. Of course, these guys will do that a little later. Okay. This is something I actually got to see. Somebody, ha um, I met Unicrack and the developer of, uh, what, or the lead developer, I should say, of the Sins of the Prophet mod at PAX. He was using this too uh, on the, the day we went to 343 Industries. So it's just a little, let me get it out of here. Mm. It's very small, you can see, size of my hand, a little pack. But I like it. Uh, let's see. So, ooh, Spartan 4 initiation, so, 
what's in the box. <laughs> Another little piece of art by Frankie. Fractures excerpt, excerpt uh, concept corner, sketches with Spark. Matt Forbeck interview. Uh, all the intel you need, community hub stuff. It's pretty cool. A lot of awesome stuff. I can't read to actually <laughs> right away. Tom and Lucy, so I have spoilers. But the story excerpt is from a thing called, or a story called Lessons Learned by Matt Forbeck. So I am looking forward to this a lot. Oh my God, this is going to be so damn cool. <laughs> Community cosplayers, so it's pretty awesome. And nice little pin. I guess that's everything. All right, so there's basically the entire crate, more or less. But last thing to look at, little figures, Halo icons they're called. So let's take a look. <laughs> basically the ident identical pose, tricked out in a nice Mark IV armor, which I personally love. And then, of course, be mounted. Now, I believe it was at the SDCC panel that they talked about how you'll be able to uh, not only change like change around which figures go and what, but once you get like all the figures from the first six crates, I believe it is, um, the bases will all connect, and you know, so it'll kind of be like this 3D mural of sorts. Right? But once it once you do get them in there, it is absolutely beautiful. And so there we are, the very first Halo legendary crate. Um, I think it was absolutely worth it. These figures are like they're heavy. They're very nice quality, from what I can tell, just by you know look, by looking and feeling them. I love the little plushie. I love this. Even if it's a small little backpack, I'll probably never use. But you know what? I still like it. The hoodie, I absolutely love. I always love pins. Got a shit ton of pins, especially after packs. And God, you you guys know, I love lore stuff. I fucking love lore stuff. So this is fantastic. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Back in January, I think it was... <sighs> They originally did another, you know, the, the first time Halo met with Loot Crate. It, is, it, it wasn't bad by any stretch of the imagination. I, I, I don't regret, you know, getting this thing and whatnot. But, you know, this is pretty much the only Halo item. Everything else is other stuff. Not bad. Again, not bad. Just, you know. This was a huge step up. Um, you know, and this is like, this is $35 for this individual crate, basically. And I would say it was absolutely worth it. I mean, something like this, like the uh, hoodie here can go for up to $35, if not more, depending on the brand. Figures like these can go, you could probably, this would probably be at least $15 to $20, depending um, on circumstances. And even this is this is very nice material that this bag this bag is made out of. Like the lowest value thing is probably like a, a, you know five dollars for something like that, or a couple bucks or something like this, depending on where you get it. I had some pens that were like twenty ten twenty dollars at the uh, at packs. So pins can be expensive. So for thirty five dollars, this is a great value. I'm so glad I did this. Um, if the, as if there was any doubt. Um, so, and hopefully you, uh, so if you were worried about this, if you were skeptical, I hope this can maybe turn it around for you. Um, so going forward, obviously we'll do more unboxings, uh, as, as these come out every couple of months and, uh, you know, let me know what you think of the unboxing of the content, um, of the format video, the video format and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching as always. And until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Jesus, can you believe this crap?
three four three really better be paying me well for sponsoring this shit. Oh crap, that's still on, isn't it? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider subscribing to Loot Crate. By going to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and using promo code BRIDGE10, you can save 10% on a new subscription to the base Loot Crate offering. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box service for epic geek and gamer items and pop culture gear.